Hey, it's MK, and I <laughs> really am excited to show you guys this album. Now, I have, do have one more step um, to complete on this album, which would be the album cover. I'm not going to share that with you guys because it is very personal information that they wanted on the front, and I'm not sure if they wanted that shared, but I will tell you guys how I'm going to do it. Um, she wanted two frames on the cover and I have these two really really old uh, close to my heart frames and I'm pretty sure the sticky is no more so I'll have to figure that out um, as far as yeah look at how old they were <laughs> they haven't had that packaging since I don't know uh, 2010 so anyways I was thinking of having them just like this and a little bit like so and then they wanted um, I believe the little boys here and the little girls here and then their middle name or their middle name no their last name in between and so that way all the wording ties in the two frames that are going to go just like this and the, what I love about these frames is they're super thin I'm not sure if you guys can see that so they're not going to stick out of the album very much. They curve in. They've got a beveled edge like that. And so when I stick them on the book, they will be flush with, so there's not going to be anything that is going to catch on this. Now I do have to figure out a way, since it is only a 2x2 two two opening, um, I will glue from here all the way around to here. That way the only thing that is not glued on is at the top because I figured the sides are going to be what goes in and out a lot. And so I'd rather do that. Or I could um, visit with them and see how they want to put this picture in because it does, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't have as smooth a finish as it does um, so that one might be a little iffy we will figure it out I promise like this one this way anyways so that is my game plan for the front of the album I already have it designed I just wanted to do this um, reveal real quick without showing you guys um, you know the personal information so I have my camera zoomed out um, not as far as it can go, but if I need to, I will. Um, so the first one is a page that they requested. Now this piece will come out. Um, it's just to protect the cover from getting little indents. So I'm not sure if you can see it right here, but this piece is getting all the indents from the rings. And so if they want to remove this, they can. I just choose not to because I want them to have a nice clean album um, when they receive it. So the first page that she said was a must was the ultrasound photos. And so I thought, sorry about the glare, but the book is put together and almost ready to ship out. <laughs> um, so I figured that it would be really cool because back in the day I remember getting my ultrasound photos in like a strip. It's not exactly a film strip, but that's what this reminded me of, was the little strip of printouts that we get instead of the individual little pictures. So I'm not really sure um, what they do nowadays. It's you know been <laughs> several years since um, I've had a child. I heard something about 3D um, imagery and stuff like that. So um, found this little cute gal with her little tummy, and I decided to put two little hearts and again, most of this album, I want to give thanks to all the people that answered my questions and helped me out along the way with, does this look good? Does that look good? What do you prefer most? So um, this one was definitely one of those pages. I do have this little sticky on top of this piece. Now, um, I probably will do it. I'll do it with this one. And I'll probably do it with several more layouts. But um, I wanted to show you that I have these photo templates in place everywhere that they're supposed to be a photo. So every single one of these is a photo template, just like that. And then I left 
this open so they could slide it in instead of trying to get it exactly like the template. Now the idea, see this isn't even sticky, it's just tacky. Um, the idea of this is you grab both sides just like this and you twist and it pulls right off. The sticky stays here and not here, okay? So then you take this piece, you put it on the back of your photo, not the front because the sticky will damage the photo. So you put this on the back of the photo where you want it. Um, most of the time I can hold it up to the light and see where I want this placed based on who's on the photo. Um, but I'm thinking this is a, I believe it's three by four. One, two, three and a half. Um, oh, I gotta go from the dumb end, I'm sorry. So it's three and a half by two and three quarters, actually. So if a three by four was taken place and this was put in the center, I don't think that a lot of the photo would go missing. But that is how you remove the photo templates. And all they are is just super thin printed paper, copy paper, um, you know, the really old stuff that was back in the day. And they were, you know, printed on one side and white on the other. So that is that. And again, they can cut it exact or slightly larger and tuck it. Okay, so the only place where this is glued is right down here. Okay, and then of course I just left this here and it's only on the very first page so that way they can see that this is um, a photo template and that was kind of what it was especially with this one because it's kind of it's really hard to tell really really hard to tell and I didn't want to write photo template on every single one of these I didn't want to use a label maker um, you know in case they are crafty and choose well I want that white and make it just a hair smaller things like that so there, there's just loads of things that um, I tried to keep in mind creating this album or any album that I do for other people. Okay, so that is that first page. Now the next page, she wanted to do a special delivery for each, um, for each child. So this is the little boys and it's just basically got the globe going on and then I put his date here because the date is the same. It won't be where I need a date on both pages. So I put the date on his and I put the time on hers. And this one, she wanted loads of photos. So I thought that is a perfect place to do pocket cards. So that way it's more about the photos than it is about the layouts. Okay. And this paper here that I used in the back is like a newsprint and it to me it made it seem like you know it's in the news it's special you know <laughs> special announcement type thing um, the newsprint just made me think of the special delivery it was just um, like Janet always says mood and feel so again here is the little girls and we have her information and the little boys information is all is also like the weight might be different so I put the weight on both sides the length the eyes and the hair as well and so the eyes the hair and the length are all different um, you know one might be smaller than the other and hers is just a little bit different but if they choose not to do this and wanted to just have the layout they go together so like this circle right here is the leftover bit from this circle right here and so then they have a cohesive layout if they choose not to do the pockets okay now another thing I wanted to talk to you um, talk about the pockets is the exact same thing this is just a template okay and you twist it up just like so the adhesive stays here and not on here okay it is a four by six photo all of these are four by sixes, four by fours, or three by three, uh, three by fours. I do think I have some three by threes as well. So they're all you can print all four by sixes and then trim down as you want, or you can, um, you know, put two photos on a four by six and get the three by four. It, it's all up to you. But this piece here, 
wanted to show you guys because it is attached to the photo template but it's the same concept. You pick it up and you twist. Okay? And it just comes off. If you pick it straight up and try to take it off, it will rip. Um, so if you twist, the type of adhesive that I used is just a twisting and then it peels right off. There's barely any adhesive on these um, for the end user to be able to um, manipulate how they want it. If the picture doesn't make it go up here and they need it down here or over here, or over here, that's fine. Or if they wanted to move it anywhere within these sections, if they wanted to move it on here because they don't want to use this, then they can do that as well. Okay. And then also too, I did them on both sides to save one on thickness and two, it's um, it saves on cardstock. So it saves on the price of the of the um, of the album. So it's mostly it's because of the thickness. Because once you start adding cardstock on top of cardstock plus two photos, that's a thick pocket. And then you'll always have these little guys trying to poke out, especially on the top. Not so much down here, because I feel like when you fill this in, it blocks this in. And when you fill this in, it blocks this in. Plus these ones are pretty tight as it is. But these two up at the top, if you make them really super thick, they're constantly poking out, trying to get out of their little, of their little areas. All right. I know it's a lot of explanation, um, but I, again, there are things that I think about um, when making an album for someone. So all of the photo templates are copy paper thin, so they're not meant to stay in the layout. They are not. Um, here they can put, you know, like a little note, this is the time that they were born, things like that. And then she also too wanted a visitor's page. And so basically I had a bunch of scraps um, from gosh knows where that were perfect colors. I mean absolutely perfect colors. I added a little bit of boy and a little bit of girl and then I ran this through my Cricut and had this said, it says something tells me they will be loved forever. I cut this out with my Cricut um, and then I had this little hello. It's like hello visitors or hello to the world, something like that. And then I did it in the film strip style. And they can either print out photos or the peoples can sign it. The peoples, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the peoples. The people can sign saying that I was there at your birth. I was there here. I was there there. Um, something like that. This piece of paper right here is one of those that is, um, for one, the hardest paper for me to use. And it is a print of just um, perfectly lined up hearts. I, I don't know how anyone can do that. I can't do that. But they are perfectly lined up pink little hearts. And my little punch, I put in and made them blue. Everyone, they were just the right size. Just the perfect size. So, just wanted to point that out for those that are looking at the details. Here, I made my own background paper. I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit. So here I made my own background paper. Um, there's a lot of manufacturers that did the whole frame thing, and it was a print with white frames, or it was white with a bunch of colored frames. I don't own any of those papers, <clears throat> but I knew that I wanted to copycat them. So on my Cricut, I found some frames, and then I turned them in. For one, I attached them all, so that's how I got the frame, um, the double frames. Um, drawn on there and then I turned it to a draw. Well, <laughs> the reason why it's all kind of mixed meter-y is because when I ran it through my Cricut, the roller picked up the marker and so it rolled it over and then copied the image and then rolled it over and copied the image. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't um, prevent it from happening. I tried to do the little baby wipe as it was rolling. I don't recommend that. <laughs> it's very unsafe. Please don't do that. So um, basically, that's when I came up with the idea of um, just stamping over it, and now you can't even tell where the roller did that. You, it just kind of blends. It blends right in, and I knew that none of my images were going to go. Could I have cut the paper down? Yes. Could I have brought the images in so they don't hit the roller? 
probably, but I wasn't thinking about that. So this one is the family first photo um, together. So it's first family photo together is how it's supposed to read. Um, I punched out a bunch of these really super cute. No, I didn't. I'm a liar. Um, these were all on a little sheet. I tried not to do a whole lot of glitter on um, any of these layouts because of the um, because of the little boy. It's just not glittery. And then again, this is just the cutout of this um, Polaroid frame. I just flipped it so it was a different color. And then again, you twist it and take it off. It's just a template for you to um, for them to size their frame or their photo. Okay. <clears throat> this one was also a must that she requested, and it is the family tree. And I probably annoyed the living daylights out of her because I was like, do you like this one? What about this one? What about this one? Do you want all the hearts facing the same direction? Do you want them flipped? Do you want them this? And she's like, please just design it. Go away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, I, I just wanted to make sure that what she got was what she was wanting. And for me, I wanted to start at the grandparents and work my way up. And she wanted to start with the children and work their way out. And so I was like, oh, that's great. And this was her all her idea to put um, the two types of swings for, you know, representing male and female type thing. I love it because little boys usually do the tire swing and little girls usually, usually do the wood plank. Anyways, um, I probably talked about that in my process video as well. And then I had another branch um, cut out of the Cricut. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. And just extended it onto the other page so that way um, should the family members take photos with the children it was it would be kind of fun um, to be able to have that that going on and then um, you know it's so and so and so and so and you are actually taking a picture with okay so then I have the doctor checkups okay and all of these have process videos this this recording is um, mostly just for those that weren't interested in the process photo but wanted to see the book as a whole Okay, so have the checkup photos again, same with the photo templates, they are all, all these photos are 4x4, four four. so if you just want the photos to fill up and you don't want to see the blue um, photo mat, that is entirely up to the end user, um, it's just peeling to the eye when you have no photos, it's, it's just a nice little blank um, photo going on. So. The little, um, the little boy got his checkup because I had absolutely no idea if the doctor was going to be able to inspect both babies at once. Um, you know, are they going to go in one at a time? Are they going to go in together? Um, I, I just didn't know how it was, so I thought, oh, I'll do one for each of them. And here is the end result for the little ones, the little girls. Okay. And then, of course, with the bubble baths, I was not sure, again, whether or not they were going to take a bath together or separate. I know eventually they'll be separate, but when they're itty-bitty little, I wasn't really sure. So the little boy got his own layout, but I mixed them up over here. And same with this one. I mixed them all up, but she got her own layout as well. Okay? So I thought that that was pretty cool, um, doing both trying to do both. And then again, I'm not really sure if they will be sleeping in the same crib. Maybe at the beginning they did, but here they do not. So he got his own layout and she got hers. And it's a little bit more on the girly side, especially in the cards, but this side matches. Again, if they choose not to do this, the layout is a cohesive between both if they choose not to do that. But she did want a lot of photos and these pocket pages are a great, great way to put in loads of photos. If they don't want these little insert cards and they just want to put photos on them, that is how they want to do it. Now this one here is their milestone, um, ha -da 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 -da, milestone layout. And I absolutely love loved. One, I loved making it, and two, I love how it turned out. 
Um, and then I realized that this wasn't the layout that I was going to create for their milestones. <laughs> so, but that's okay. I just, I absolutely love how it turned out. Again, I used the um, newspaper print, but I love this one because it's a lot of words. So this one's going to have a lot of dates on it, you know, the um, when they first smiled, when they first laughed, rolled over, vacation, when they first said mom and dad, the holidays, um, finds their hands and toes. Now some of these I borrowed um, from multiple baby books because it's like, what, you know, what do you do? This is the first haircut, first tooth, steps, crawled and gave kisses. Now the photos probably won't represent any of these milestones, but the dates will, and it's not meant to be filled up in one day. It's meant to be filled up throughout the first year or two years based on, you know, how long, especially the first steps. But the first steps, I couldn't remember, you know, is that the first year or is that, you know, about, what is it, um, 18 months, something in there? So I wasn't sure, but this one's not meant to be filled up all in one day. It's meant to be filled up um, over a course of time. Same with the doctor's visits, same with the sleeping photos, all of that. It's not meant for, you know, the exact same photo all in one day. And this one here is their very first outing, like when they take them to the park or take them outside and they have like a little, the little first play, plastic play place, something like that. Um, so again, one for the little boy because he might be slightly more adventurous than the little girl, or vice versa, she might be slightly more adventurous than he is. So she gets her own and he gets his. And these cards are totally interchangeable. If I wanted to mix and match these, like I want a little boy and I want a little girl um, in inside, but I don't mind this all being the boy, flip them. You know, just take them and, and flip them and then you'll have a mix, um, a mix of both of them. I just wasn't sure. And here, food gets messy. <laughs> this one, I had so much fun making this layout. You guys have no idea. Um, I used the little plaid because it reminded me of like a picnic um, tablecloth. And then I used this wood grain because it reminds me of a kitchen floor. At least my kitchen floor. <laughs> So um, I wanted to do something that represented food, but yet it wasn't like most of the food. They're very primary colors. So again, I went to my Cricut and pulled out a ton of little things. There's lots of words going on. Um, I love yummies. There's little these wooden little things that I found um, stashed away in my wood grain stash. And there's lots. So this layout here did not get a title so I put it down here in the card and it says happy eating because you know babies love to eat because they get to make a mess at least mine did and then here it's eat up yum yum so it's kind of like the title goes across the entire page but I love this and I absolutely love that I had this um, we go together like peas and carrots and then the baby jars are um, peas and carrots and so I brought the little icons over here so there were three little peas and carrots because everybody knows that the best picture to take is when the baby first tries the peas. <laughs> At least mine was. Um, <laughs> you should have seen it. So here is the very first Christmas. Um, again, this one, after I made it, I was like, oh, this is more kind of like their very first snow or their very first winter. I'm not sure what the weather would be like, so I really didn't want to emphasize that this was for um, for just winter, but that's what it looks like. You know, all I'm picturing the little one all bundled up, or the little ones, I apologize, all bundled up in their snowsuits and they can barely move their arms and hands and checking out the snow for the very first time and eating the snow, um, things like that. So that's where this was. And again, I mixed them up because I figured they were going to do it all together. <clears throat> and because there was no title on this one, I put a title over here and it does say Happy Winter. So that way there is a first Christmas and it does kind of like, this is a very happy winter. It's our very first winter together. And speaking of the very first winter together, I decided to throw in a Christmas layout. Now I know that this layout 
looks nothing like the cohesiveness of the rest of the album, but I wanted to make sure that if they took a first family photo, especially at Christmas, you know, for Christmas cards and things like that, that they would have a spot in this album for that. You know, this is our first Christmas, you know, as a family, as a, as a big group of people. And so I did Cozy Family December. I really liked that. And then of course the sweet moments, because they all are sweet when they're babies. And then this one here kind of represents their very first, like, after a whole year as a family. It's, um, that's basically what this layout was supposed to be, was like they're very, we've survived a whole year. Um, and then it's our greatest adventure is what the title is. But I really liked it um, because they are, you know, they are getting to be a year older. They're, they're starting to develop personalities, things like that. And then it leads into their birthday, um, their birthday layouts. So with the birthday layout, layouts, with their birthday layouts, I mixed them up because I assumed, again, I'm just assuming, that they'll be sitting next to each other and they'll just have a, you know, a mouthful of cake or cupcake, um, however that, however that is represented. <clears throat> so I wanted the photo mats to all be black. Now these ones here were made long, long, long time ago. And so the white pieces are cardstock, they are pretty thick, and they don't have a photo template. But again, they're all four by sixes, or um, these ones are not, these ones are weird, but these ones here have a template. They are all hand cut by me, so if you wanna smooth them out or do whatever, um, you know, then need be, but I loved the wonkiness because that's how chaotic birthday parties usually are, at least at my house they are. And um, yeah, so anyways, that's basically this. I love how this turned out. Here's a spot for journaling. Um, more journaling or more photos. I don't know about you, but I take lots of photos um, at birthday parties. And here is another one. Basically, more photos for lots more spaces for lots of photos for a party. And then last but not least is the pocket that we made, that I made. And then I left this photo strip in here, or film strip, whatever you want to call it. So that way they knew as they flip the layout around, this will move and they know that this is a pocket. But she also asked for it, so she's expecting it. <laughs> um, so anyways, I absolutely love how this album came together. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing, amazing crafty adventure. If you guys are interested, I am going to do a recording of um, disassembling the little kit that I created for this. And so if you guys want to see that, I will put up a recording. Um, I'm going to go ahead and record it just in case you guys do, but <laughs> that was weird. Um, but I'm going to finish this and then figure out how I'm going to mail this to her since uh, our post office is not accepting people in the building. So um, I will figure it out. Thanks for watching.